Friends, here we are working out in the rain with the hottest and youngest coach in the National Football League, Jim Trimble of the Philadelphia Eagles. Don't you know Jim Trimble comes from McKeesport, Pennsylvania, never played professional football in his life. He's had the most remarkable success story in football, and he's brought about, about seven castoffs of other clubs, helped tremendously uh, with his team. How did you uh, bring this about, Jim? What happened? Why did you revitalize these boys? Well, Harry, one thing that has really struck me about these professional football players is the fact that they're great competitors. That's why they're up here in the league. Uh, they're not satisfied to, to quit competing after college ball. And when a football player is cut from a squad, it's a great blow to his pride. And uh, the second chance that he gets is the one that he really tries to make good on. Uh, uh, a thing that topped us greatly is the fact that we have a, a real great squad attitude here, and uh, our veterans that have been with us for many years have welcomed these castoffs in and uh, made them a part of our ball club, and they really appreciate it. Jim Tremble, tell us about this suicide seven defense. Uh, we've heard about seven. Harry is a, a defensive unit, a defensive line consisting of two ends, two tackles, a middle guard, and two fine linebackers. Uh, they've done well. Uh, they've done better this year than they did last year. We had a remarkable defensive record last year. But uh, I wouldn't want to play against them myself. That's the best uh, way I can describe them. They're a great outfit. I'm sure the people across the nation, Jim Trimble, enjoyed meeting you and getting the story of your 1954 edition of the Philadelphia Eagles. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks. I hope that uh, we can bear out all the nice things that you folks